Welcome everybody to another World of Tanks replay. My name is Maxwell and this replay is from the users Little Viking and Arceus. Probably pronouncing that horribly, but there you go. So, I thought I'd bring you a little bit of platoon play. This video is a little bit different to things I normally do. I have done something like this in the past, but uh, I got these two replays sent in together by these users and just realised that they both needed to be shown together to get the full impact of the game. Straight away gets a great shot on a T-37 there. So, before we get too far into the video, I do just want to say that, yes, the sound has changed a little bit. You may notice that my voice sounds a little bit different. I'm having some problems with my mixing deck at the moment, so I am moving to my backup microphone until I can hopefully get that fixed. So, sound quality should be good, but it will sound a little bit different because I'm on a microphone rather than a condensing headset. With that out of the way... Straight away, the two allies are making good moves, splitting up, which is not something that I always like to do. I like to try and tend to keep platoons together just so you can watch each other's backs. But you know what? When you load into a tier 7 game and you're a tier 5 medium tank, gotcha. then you're probably not really expecting to do too fantastically. So these guys probably just moving, moving around, having some fun. You can see Little Viking has already eliminated two tanks there. Arceus going, trying to go for his first kill, trying to close down on this Stug 3. He's kind of stuck in the corner here and he gets taken out. So, when you're a tier 5 medium tank in a tier 7 game, not really that much you're going to be able to do to affect the course of the battle unless you play very, very well. So, we're going to see Little Viking and Arceus try to do their best here. Little Viking gets pinned down just a little bit. But the 301P gets taken out. We're going to switch across to Arceus here, who's making moves on the artillery. And he finds the AMX. Hasn't quite got a shot on him, so he's just going to move up this hill a little bit to try and get a firing position on him. You can see, you can perfectly see him here. Takes him out. And then, look of all looks, he finds the grill as well. Revealed on this little plateau here. So he's going to take him out for his third kill now. I'm going to swing back around and head towards the town. As you can see, Little Viking has caught out an AT-2 with his back to him. I'm going to take his time focusing on the back plate. It's a penetration for maximum damage there. 345 damage to an AT-2 was absolutely brilliant. Then he finds the rear of a stationary KV-85. Takes his time on that one to take him out as well. And as you can see... Marcy is coming to assist both of them on three kills. And see this AT2, not very happy about getting shot in the rear. He comes around the corner, but he's not expecting to see Arceus there and takes a shot in the face. You can see the speed and shell velocity of the AT2 is not great there as that shell dips into the ground in front of him. Has another shot, but Arceus is already moving, so that one just misses. He tries to back away, but Arceus has got the reload and he takes him out for kill number four. And starts to push forward. You can see an SU-100 on the left-hand side there. He's making the move towards the T-67. So Arceus is going to try and take him out. Unfortunately, just use a little bit of auto aim there. And that one just plants into the dirt. Now the SU-100 makes his final mistake, which is to sit motionless. Does get ammo racked by the IS-2. And I do just want to make a quick mention about these IS-2s. XVM isn't quite working at the moment. But these two guys are 60% win rate. And platooned together, so they are fantastic players. And you're going to see that as we come into the end of the game. The two of them there getting circled around. Arceus was going to make a move to try and flank around the IS-2s, but he finds a T-67 on the other side of the map there. I'm going to try and take this guy out. Judges his shell velocity perfectly to eliminate him for kill at number 6. And that could be a Top Gun medal depending if Little Viking also picks up six kills, so it's going to depend on who has the most damage at the moment. That is most definitely Little Viking has double the damage of Arceus, but only half the kills. IS-2s have backed off now. T-43 is a little bit hesitant to go through, so he's going to leave it to his Tier 5 counterpart. Sees that the IS-2 is manoeuvring himself into a side scraping position to try and get a shot. So Little Viking does exactly the same thing. Bounces the shot from the IS-2. That was some fantastic manoeuvring. He's going to pull alongside. Got to get a penetration. And he does the kill number four to take out one of the IS-2s. You can see Arceus trying to get a shot on the second IS-2 there. But the fantastic Sovietanium armor of these IS-2s. More than enough to turn aside his shell as he tries to get into cover. 
doesn't want to become the focus of that IS-2's rage. Little Viking doing the same thing, coming along behind the IS-2. He goes for a shot, but again, the unbreakable Sovietanium armor coming into place. The IS-2 just marauds around the corner to take out the T-43 and the T-67. And he's still not taking any damage from these guns. Finally takes some damage from the artillery. And the SU-85 foolishly moves up into view. And that is kill number seven for the enemy IS-2. Was only on two or three kills about 30 seconds ago. And in 30 seconds, he's managed to rack himself up seven kills. An absolutely fantastic uh, last stand there by this IS-2. He's still got four enemies to face. But two of them are half health medium tanks and the other two are artillery. So this may not go well for the Allies. Definitely not a foregone conclusion just yet. You can see RC is making a move for the cap circle, even if he's not going to cap out the game. Which he probably is, because let's face it, two artillery and two half health tier 5 medium tanks against an IS-2. It's not going to go well. So he moves into the cap circle just to give the IS-2 something to think about. Like I said, even if he's not going to go for the full base capture, he can at least hopefully get the IS-2 to turn around. And you can see Little Viking lying in wait. He has his shot, but that one bounces as well. Right off the flat top of the IS-2's engine deck. And now he's got to give chase. It looks like this IS-2 is making moves towards the cap circle. He wants to defend his base and who can blame him. Just playing it safe. Waiting for the IS-2 to show himself. But it looks like the IS-2 living up to his 60% uh, win rate. As he doesn't put himself into a position where... Little Viking would be able to hit him. He finally shows up. Little Viking has his shot, but it's totally on the move. And that one just goes to space. It looks like the IS-2 is taking a hit in the rear from the Hummel there, maybe. Aiming in this location. So Little Viking doesn't want to put himself in harm's way. And about 40 seconds left on the cap clock. IS-2, if he just goes full bore, he probably will reach there in time. IS-2, not slow for a heavy tank. As you can see, the Sherman 3 of Little Viking trying to catch up, but just about matching his speed. He's going to make a move through the archway, try and head him off, but it looks like the IS-2 is going to reach there in time. Arceus is lying in wait. He's got his gun aimed in on the location. IS-2 comes around the corner. He gets the shot. He gets the kill, and that is the victory. So absolutely awesome game played there by the platoon pair, picking themselves up a whole whack of kills, 11 between them. Picking up a decent amount of damage and coming away with the victory for their team. You can see only three other people had kills on their team and none of them were tier 7. So the rest of the team just lying over and capitulating while the two platoon mates really won that one for their team. So thank you to you guys for sending that replay in. It was absolutely awesome. And don't forget, if you guys have got a great replay, send that into replay at screenreality.com. The link is in the description. Just attach the replay file itself or the link to the What Replay website to the email and I can check that one out for you. Thanks very much for watching, guys. I've been Maxwell. This has been a World of Tanks replay. And I'll catch you next time.